July 31st, today's scripture. And now, O Lord, for what do I wait? My hope is in you. Psalm 39, verse 7, the English Standard Version. Today's guide. When preparing for today, think about the following. Stepping back and looking at it from the perspective of eternity. Food for thought. In today's scripture, David's prayer is one that should be shared by all of us, for it is our hope in the Lord that will sustain us through any season of life. When faced with uncertainty and difficulties in this world, we can set our sights on eternity and remember that it is only through the Lord that we have true hope. He has promised to never leave nor forsake us, Joshua 1 verse 5, and will provide for all our needs according to his riches and glory, Philippians 4 verse 19. As David knew, it is only in him can we find the security and hope we need to persevere through any storm. In every situation, we can choose to trust God and wait on Him as He works out His plan in our lives. We don't have to always understand why things are happening, but instead pause and take a deep breath and know that God holds the future in His hands. Even when surrounded by darkness or facing seemingly impossible obstacles, we have a refuge, a safe haven in Him. As we place our faith and trust fully in Him, peace will come despite what may be raging around us. It's easy to get wrapped up in everything this world has to offer, forgetting about eternity. However, Jesus reminds us not to worry about life's troubles, but instead focus on storing treasures in heaven, Luke 12, verses 20 and 21. Everything here is temporary. Our ultimate hope lies with Christ, who has given us eternal life through his death and resurrection. John 3, verse 16. Gratitude. Finding gratitude amidst times of uncertainty can seem daunting, especially when looking at things through an earthly perspective. But as believers, no matter how difficult or fleeting life appears to be here on earth, there remains a greater hope that awaits us beyond this world, an eternal assurance that surpasses even death itself. And reflecting on gratitude today, consider the following questions. How can I find gratitude during times of uncertainty? How can I find gratitude in preparing for eternity? David had the right perspective. He knew that pursuing worldly pursuits would not bring him contentment and hope, but only a deeper longing. Instead, he looked to the Lord with full assurance that his hope was in him alone. May we too have the same life-changing attitude living our lives rooted in His truth and keeping our eyes fixed on eternity. Today's prayer. Lord, I wait for you. You are my hope, my salvation. In you I live and have my being. Amen.